Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Monday, April the 15th. It's Monday in Holy Week, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 51, Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 1 through 16. And join me now in singing the first verse of Sing My Tongue. Sing my tongue the glorious battle of the mighty conflict same. Tell the triumph of the victim in his cross thy tribute bring. Jesus Christ, the world's redeemer, from that cross now reigns as King. Open thy lips, thy mouth shall declare your praise. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. Psalm 51, and please recite it with me. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. According to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight that you might be justified when you speak, and be upright when you judge. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you desire truth in my inmost parts, and in the secret part you shall make me know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones which you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your free spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from death, O God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. Open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise, for you do not desire sacrifice, else would I give it. For you do not desire, you delight not in burnt offerings. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O God, you will not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 12, beginning at verse 1. You will be in the right, O Yahweh, when I lay charges against you, but let me put my case to you. Why does the way of the guilty prosper? Why do all who are treacherous thrive? You plant them, and they take root. They grow and bring forth fruit. You are near in their mouths, yet far from their hearts. But you, O Most High, know me. You see me and test me. My heart is with you. Pull them out like sheep for the slaughter, and set them apart for the day of slaughter. How long will the land mourn, and the grass of every field wither? For the wickedness of those who live in it, the animals and the birds, are swept away. And because people said, He is blind to our ways. If you have raced with foot runners and they have wearied you, how will you compete with horses? And if in a safe land you fall down, how will you fare in the thickets of the Jordan? For even your kinfolk and your own family, 
Even they have dealt treacherously with you. They are in full cry after you. Do not believe them, though they speak friendly words to you. I have forsaken my house. I have abandoned my heritage. I have given the beloved of my heart into the hands of her enemies. My heritage has become to me like a lion in the forest. She has lifted up her voice against me, and therefore I hate her. Is the hyena greedy for my heritage at my command? Are the birds of prey all around her? Go, assemble all the wild animals, bring them to devour her. Many shepherds have destroyed my vineyard. They have trampled down my portion. They have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness. They have made it a desolation. Desolate, it mourns to me. The whole land is made desolate, but no one lays it to heart. Upon all the bare heights in the desert, spoilers have come, for the sword of Yahweh devours from one end of the land to the other, and no one shall be safe. They have sown wheat and have reaped thorns. They have tired themselves out, but profit nothing. They shall be ashamed of their harvest because of the fierce anger of Yahweh. Thus says Yahweh concerning all my evil neighbors who touch the heritage that I have given my people Israel to inherit. I am about to pluck them up from their land, and I will pluck up the house of Judah from among them. And after I have plucked them up, I will again have compassion on them, and I will bring them again to their heritage, to their land, every one of them. And then, if they will diligently learn the ways of my people to swear by my name, as the Lord lives, as they are taught my people to swear by Baal, then they shall be built up in the midst of my people. Here ends the lesson. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Forgive us, tender God, of all our sins and offenses, and restore to us the joy of your salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And may Almighty God shine his face upon us, be merciful to us and bless us, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen.